this video, we will continue with inverse trigonometric functions. You will find this on page 209 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. In the diagram, triangle ABC is a right angled, okay, so ABC, and D is the midpoint, do you see, the midpoint of BC. Angle DAC, DAC, is 30 degrees, and angle BAD is X, okay. The length of AD is denoted by P, okay. Express each AC and BC as exact values in terms of P, so exact values mean special angles, and show that AB is this. Okay, let's start. Now, don't forget your special angles because you sit with 30 degrees. So remember, as I said always, that it was an equilateral and then it was cut. So that's why it's 2 and 1, square root 3. That angle is cut, it was lost, so it was 60, but it's 30 now and 60. Okay, so let's start. Express AC. Now, where is AC? AC. That's why I start with cos. Because this is adjacent over hypotenuse. So cos of 30 is adjacent. This is adjacent. This is hypotenuse. Okay. Now, I put it over 1 and I cross multiply. And I get AC is P cos 30. But I know, special angle, 30 degrees. So cos adjacent over hypotenuse, it's going to be square root 3 over 2 and then the P. So in this place, square root 3 over 2 and P. Okay. Now, um, so I have AC. Now I must find BC. Now where is BC? Uh, there is BC. Do you see? Okay. So basically, I'm going to now say, um, before I come to BC, I first, I cannot find BC because I work with 30. But, let me just clean a little bit here. I can find DC. And whatever that is, I can double it. Okay. So let's start. Because this is now op opposite over hypotenuse. So sin of 30 is opposite over hypotenuse. And again, I cross multiply, I get DC equals P sin 30. And in the, now, what is sin 30? It's opposite over hypotenuse, it's a half. And that's where, where, where the half is coming from, half P. Okay. But I know that BD, BD is just as long as DC. So, it's two times a half. So, actually, this whole one is just P. Okay. It's actually the same as that one. Do you see that? Now, okay, so AC and BC, I have that now as exact values up there. And show that AB, okay, now I have 90 degrees. Now I must go to AB. So I work with Pythagoras' theorem. So what is Pythagoras' theorem saying? It is this one square, okay, so there, this one square, plus, remember the long one, this one square, and I take the square root. Now, if I square, now a square root 3 times square root 3 is just 3. Um, 2 times 2 is 4. P times P is P square, plus P square. Okay, now do you see that that is like, so it's like 1 plus a 3 quarter, 1 and a 3 quarter, which is 7 over 4 P square. Now break it up, because in the beginning of chapter 1, I was teaching you a bit of search. Due to this kind of things. Okay, so you can break it up. 7, square root 4. That is all correct. And if you break it up, okay, the 7 cannot go out. But the 4 can go out and the P can go out. Okay, and this is where I got, there is the half. So a half and square root of P. And that is my final answer. Okay, and there I got that. And now I continue. Show that X, okay, there's the inverse. It's minus 30. Okay, so let's start. Now, um, I'm going to just clean a little bit here. But it's all right. I can work in that green one now. Because that's x plus 30. That's the x. So tan x plus 30 
is BC over AC, opposite over adjacent. So I have BC, where is BC? Uh, let's BC was P, can you remember? Here is BC. So it's P, divide, okay, I just put it like this because it was very long. So divide AC, what was AC? Square root 3 over 2 uh, P. But just make it the reciprocal, so swap it around, okay? And then what happens? The P's cancel out. And then what is left? 2 over square root 3. So, okay, there I'm, I left with that. Now I must go, and, and can you remember how I swap? So I can make it tan minus 1, but then I must swap this to the inverse. So I make a tan, and I swap, and I write this, and I write this. Now to get x alone, I take that one over, and I subtract it on that side. And that is exactly what you've got there. Okay, also a typical, typical exam question. Okay. I want you to stop the video, and I decided that I'm going to give you two, because sometimes I think you work better in degrees than in radians. So I, I decided to rather do this one. With, because it's going to be in terms of radians. Okay, so stop the video, and as soon as you are done, you can continue the video. Okay, let's just stop. I'm going to make use of the sketch. Let's see if I can make it a bit bigger. We'll make it smaller again, because I'm going to use the sketch in writing a few things in. Okay, so let's draw it. In the diagram, triangle ABC is a right angle. ABC, I can see that. Um, at C and M is the midpoint of BC. This is very important also. It is given that angle ABC, ABC, is a third of special angles, radians. And angle uh, BAM, BAM is theta radians. Denote the lengths of BM and MC by X. Okay. Um, denoting the lengths of BM and MC, B, okay, BM and MC is by X. Now's the question. Find AM. Where is AM? Let's just get AM. AM. There it is. Find AM in terms of X. Okay, now let's start. A. In is good to, because there's two triangles. So say in. Triangle A, B, C. Okay. So A, B, C. B, C is 2X. So that is going to be 2X. Okay. Now, I'm first going to find A, C. Because I can, if I work, oh, no, okay, let me rather do it like this. Make this green. Because that's the one I'm talking about now. Okay. So if I want AC, I have this one. What function will I use? I will say tan of that third pi, special angle. And that is AC opposite over adjacent. I have adjacent is 2x. Okay. So put it over 1. Cross multiply. AC is equal to 2x tan a third pi. Okay, now if you see something like this, oh, special angles. Okay, let's quickly go to my special angles. Okay, I'm just going to do it here. And I showed you so many times, it's easy. It's 2, 1, square root 3. This is the big one, so it's pi over 3. This is the small one. It's pi over 6. So although this one is 30, this is co connecting with the 6. And this is 60 and it's connecting with the 3. Okay. So according to that, I can now go and say 2x and tan. Now tan pi, tan is opposite over adjacent. So it's going to be, but I'm going to just get 2x squared root 3. That is AC. So 2x or the right of rate 2x square root 3 but now now I can use Pythagoras theorem in this one 
because I have this is x and I have this and I can use Pythagoras theorem. So I'm going to say um, a m at a m squared is equal to m c squared plus a c squared, and that is coming from Pythagoras. Theorem. Okay, so I'm going to fill in. I have uh, mc, so that's going to be um, x squared plus ac, that is going to be 2x square root 3 squared. Okay, and that is going to be x squared plus 4x squared. Square root 3 times square root 3 is just 3. So it's going to be, okay, I'm making it a little bit long, 4 times 3, okay, so that is going to be 12 x squared plus that 1, so that's going to be 13 x squared. Okay, let's write it in. That is going to be, um, okay, but don't forget, don't forget, I didn't take the square root, I'm not write it in yet. So, because it's a practical, I leave out the plus minus. Okay, because it's distance, so therefore, AM is the square root of 13x squared. Remember again, search. It's square root 13, square root x squared, which is um, square root 13, but the x can come out. Okay, so we can write this as square root 13x. That is that side. So what did they ask? Find a in in terms of x. There, I did that. Now I go on with number b. Okay, let's look at number b. Show that theta is 1 over 6 pi minus inverse of tan 1 over this. Okay, let's stop first there. This is my special triangle. This angle, this angle. Now let's rather make it, I want to make it red. This angle is pi over 6. This is pi over 3. This is pi over 6. But this angle here is pi over 6 minus that theta. Okay, that's that angle there. So, I'm going to say in triangle A, M, C, I'm going to say tan because there's a tan, now let's, what, what is tan going to be? Now, it's going to be this angle, because I'm working in this blue now, do you see? It's the 90. So, it's going to be pi over 6 minus theta, and remember, tan is opposite MC over adjacent AC. So, what is MC? It's going to be X. What is adjacent? It's going to be 2x square root 3. Now, very interesting. Do you see what happened? That cancel out. Okay. So, because you see there's not so many x, so cancel it out. Now, I'm going to find the inverse. And what do I do if I find the inverse? I basically swap the sides. So, I'm now sitting with, let's just get my blue again. Uh, 1 over 2 square root 3 is equal to pi over 6 minus theta. But I want to make theta. Okay, can you see what's happening here? Because theta is negative, I just want to move that, it's better to take theta over. So theta is equal to pi over 6 minus tan minus 1, 1 over 2 square root 3. And that is exactly what stands there. Do you see? And that show, I just arrived. That's how you do this kind of sums.